Thank you for stopping by. As you can tell by the title, today I want to discuss with you how I got a job um, without a degree in tech and computer science or anything, even though I did go to school. So stick around and let's find out how I did it. It does not have anything to do with this book. I just bought it. Um, I saw the pictures inside. You know, it has like a page with those pictures. The rest of the book is brown, but then there's some pictures that are in a white paper. You know, very interesting pictures. But the story has nothing to do with this. So yeah, it stays there. So it all started in metric when I joined a WhatsApp group um, of Africans and Indians mostly. And they were talking about all things IT. So from torrents, you know, like sharing movie links, um, to discussing like basic hacking skills. It was just like an IT group that you know, shares everything related to IT. Um, and then from there, a friend of mine, um, a high school friend of mine, picked up a book at our local library in Bumalanga. And the book was about writing basic HTML. And after he used it for some time, he told me about it and I went to pick it up. Luckily, at that time, I had a computer that I was able to use at home. You know, it's a computer that was used by my friends for music production. I was kind of into that then, but yeah, I, I, I still suck. So I was able to use that computer to learn you know, basic HTML templating. Um, I was able to do a bit of that. And then I also jumped into Android side of things. Um, mind you, it was still then in like metric. Um, I did not really finish the Android side of things. You know, I did pause a bit because the computer was just basically too slow to handle the Android development. Um, so I paused that and I continued with trying to do HTML side of things. And then from there I developed my first app, which was the Nestacy app. Um, it was put up, you know, there was a download link for it, but I lost it and I can't get it anymore. So I used an online platform to create that app, but you know, all of that exposure leading me to that was because of that book that we got in the library, the WhatsApp group and everything else. So things are just building up and piling up at this moment. Um, and towards the end of the year, I had not really planned to study computer science and IT degree thing. Um, I was just honestly winging it. You know, it's main metric. I was just trying to focus on my grades. And unfortunately, my mom passed as well in that grade um, about like three weeks before my exams. So I was just trying to grind out um, my exams. And yeah. I was done with that, you no know, my marks are not bad. So after then remind remind you remind you um I had not applied for any computer science thing. Everything else that I applied for um was rejected. So I can't remember what it is, but I applied to VETS for some high level degrees. I think like applied mathematics and something and yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but um, come 2017, which was you know, when I had basically finished my matric and I had to find a place somewhere in an institution, and I happened to find Rosbank College, who at the time was offering an IT um, diploma in software development, or, yeah, IT diploma in software development. So I was able to get in there um, with the help of like my uncle, and he helped me with like some stuff there. Got in, um, and that's how my formal education in you no know, um, coding starts. Yeah, I was able to push my first day. I did pretty well. I think you know um, I was able to understand basic principles of programming because I had been playing around um, with that. And then, yeah, the only thing that gave me a tough time in college um, were arrays in Java. It took me some time to get them. I don't know how they were, they were giving me a headache, but that happened. Um, after figuring that out, you know, things were pretty much smooth. Everything else uh, that we were using in Java was okay for me. And then we moved on to the second year. Um, yeah, the second year things were also okay at Rosbank College and it's a pretty good institution. The lectures were not bad at all, even though I feel like some of their modules were saturated, like they were teaching us English. Like, I'm here to learn IT and software development. I believe that for the past 10 years, 
I've been learning English and then you still want to teach me more English instead of you know, teaching me you know, more technical side of things but that's okay you know I guess they have to give the money's worth um, of their course so fast forward in second year um, Donald and I who's a friend of mine make the taxi math app and then that app sort of got traction um, on like social media and you know, I started to be reckless a bit then with my spending because the money that I had at that time, or the money that I was getting, was strictly for me paying my tuition fees every month, buying groceries, going to school, right? That was all that money was able to do or was supposed to do. But me being me, because of this app, then I started to buy domains, you know, to try and push it. You now fast forward to third year, which is 2019 I was not able to register because I had child money in a way from my second year that was meant to be for my tuition fees I was owing not a lot but it was still significant to a point where I could not register